welcome you know this is woman women empowerment again now i'll be in the kitchen today cooking for my family i'm a little bit tired but i'm gonna cook and today we're having mashed potatoes and some steak so i'm making steak today and mashed potato i just finished washing my uh, steak i put on this chopping board as you see i, I always cut my uh my, my steak when I want to cook it on the stove. I know I'm supposed to cook it on the grill outside but being spring in United States there's too much pollen. In spring there's a lot of pollen outside so I, I don't want to put my meat on the grill outside because of pollen. So today I'm going to cook it on the stove and I got a, a grilling pan which I got. All I do I cut it in slice here but don't go all the way down into the meat just a little bit to allow the spice to soak in so i'll take here and use my spice here normally you'll use normal steaking spice drop down a comment and tell me which spice you use for your steak if you want to cook it on the grill or if you want to cook it on the stove mine i'm doing with the stove i like doing the grill but it's not just a good season for me so after you soak this side you put in your spices and a little bit salt please put in li so little salt because salt is not so good to you i'm gonna add a little bit black paper as you can see over there just a teeny bit because i have a uh, people who don't eat this too much spice i also don't like too much of it but it's just put enough to make your meat taste good then you have onion powder and i'll rub it in then I let it sit like 10 minutes, which it marinates itself. So watch me as I go to the stove. I'll be right back. In the stove, I let it cook. See, I put it, this is my pan. I bought this pan, you can use this to cook on the grill. So once it's on the stove, I put medium heat. It, it cooks like half, let's say, seven, 10 minutes, depending on how hard you want it. But I like my steak, all the steaks I cook, I like mine well done. There are some people who like rare, which is a little bit bloody like that. But I don't like rare, because I don't want to do nothing blood. So, I'll turn around that again. This is just a pan. This pan has already got really in it like that. You think it's getting drier, you get the heat. Right here. A little bit dry. Right there. So I let the other side cook like five minutes. And then you can see this side, you don't see no more bloody. This is how I like mine. Like I want it dry. But if you like your. Uh, Rare, rare, like it's a little bit bloody. That's fine too. Everybody got different taste. As you can see that, I give it five minutes, then I turn it around. Meanwhile, on the other side of the stove, I started my mashed potato. As you can see, normally I salte mine with onion because I'm making like mashed potato, which has a little bit of um, onion in it, which is salte that on the side I boiled this green peas so all I'll do since my water started evaporating in the potato I'll just go ahead and put the green peas on top the green peas on the side like 10 or 20 minutes depending how soft you want them because you don't want the uh, raw uh, green peas on the potatoes and on this other side as you can see on the stove my steak is cooking and i'll show you the final product just done by i hope you'll enjoy it together with me i wish you could all <laughs> taste it <laughs> all right i'm loving it So I think this other side is ready. Oh my goodness, 
this I got bone. This is T bone steak. I tell you this is done on the stove. You can't believe it. This is done on top of the stove. This looks yummy already. What I normally do since I have three pieces of the T bone steak, I get a tray, put it on the side because I want to put the barbecue sauce later after I do the other piece. Stay, stay tuned. So I'll bring this other piece. This is the other third one, which I just seasoned. It's been sitting almost 10 minutes. I just pick it up with my little knife here and lay it on that pan. So this is my third piece. I give it five minutes to cook on one side. Then as it turns a little bit golden and it's not more bloody, then I turn it again. Meanwhile, we got these other pieces here. They're waiting for the final stage. We know I'll cover them with aluminum foil so they don't dry up as I wait for this one to cook. On the other hand, I have no water left in these potatoes. I'm gonna turn my heat off. And at my sink here, you don't wanna scratch your sink up. I don't have a sink uh, liner, but I'm gonna get one. Meanwhile, I'll just use a piece of cloth. Before I start mashing that, I'll be checking on my meat on the other side. Look at that. Look at this side and look at that side. So what I do, I just turn it around. These uh, plants are very beneficial. You see it has ridges like that. These all lines you see on the stick. It's like just the normal gray when you do it outside. Look at that. I'm going to clean up when I finish. Don't come for me in the comments. I'm just showing you how the steak goes into the fully steak. It looks lovely, you can see that. And my heat is on the lower uh, medium. Basically, what you'll have to do with the potatoes, as you can see over here, just like that. You mix the potatoes with the green peas. Yeah, it looks yummy already. Oh my goodness. And if you have children, this is very nice if you have children who don't like vegetables. Once you cook them in here with the mashed potato, they will know nothing about it because it's so yummy. So you mash it together. If you have little kids, this is very beneficial to them because once you put those green peas, they're soft, nice and mashed, and you can feed them. But you know uh, what diet is given to your child. so. Don't feed them if they don't eat certain things. But if they eat potatoes and green peas, this is mashed all well. Stay tuned as I go and check. Uh, yummy, look at that. This is our dinner today is gonna be good. I'm trying to do with one hand as I hold this camera. hope you like the end result and this is very healthy meal we put starch which is your potatoes and we got the green peas which is your vegetable and I have steak on the other side which will be your protein so actually you have a balanced diet nice okay let me check the steaks so I don't want to burn it on one side I have to turn it again right there mm, looks nice here look at that can you believe i did this on the stove i'm gonna show you the end result yummy wow you see the other ones over there still waiting wow i like this don't you think it's yummy i think this last piece is ready i'll do the same process i did with the other ones i'll pull it on the side and lay it there with the rest and then bring back remember the first two we had bring back that put it on here back on the stove this is my way i know there are different ways of cooking that but i like this way when i do it on the stove then i'll put this other one back the other two now it's time it's time for me to put my barbecue sauce share with me what barbecue sauce you like using 
I like honey barbecue. So what kind? There you go. You open your barbecue sauce and put it up on the meat. Look at that. And normally I'll use a cooking brush, this one, and just smear it. This is the honey barbecue. And this is, remember this, we're all doing this on the stove. Then I'll do it like that. I'll smear it well. This other piece also. I'll go ahead and put my barbecue sauce on my tea bones. Look at that. Look at how they look. I don't measure it. I just look and see the match I need. Some people like it a lot. Some people like it a little bit. Just do it the way you like it. All that. See this little brush. Yes. And I go back, get my tongs. Hold that and turn it around. So your barbecue sauce, I like my barbecue sauce to be warm. Can cook a little bit and go ahead and turn the other piece too. So do the same way you did on the other one. You can lay there our tongs and get the back honey barbecue sauce and put on that. This is yummy, it looks good already. There you go. Mm. Tell me how you think and how you cook your steak. Let us hear your comments. Share how you do your barbecue. Uh, uh, the T-bone steak on the stove. Let us know. You see mine, I don't speak first. I'm going to speak slow so you can get it. But sometimes you find if I'm doing this and I'm going too fast, you may get no time to master it. If you like it, tell me if you try my recipe. Look at that. If, when you're doing this, just put your medium heat and don't let it cook too long. Just something like two minutes and then turn again on the other side for the same process. Now look at that. Oh my goodness. This tea is going to be nice. Look at that. Brush it so it can be even the distributed. If you like it, give a thumbs up. Mmm. Very nice. So I let it cook another two minutes. Actually, it's just warming the barbecue sauce up. And then one little piece that's left. You repeat the process and enjoy your meal. I think my steak is well done. You don't see no more bloody. And it's ready to, to be eaten. There you go. There you go. And once I put here, if you're not ready for dinner, just cover it. If you have a warming drawer, I always put it in my warming drawer. Cover it with another aluminum foil. And then until you're ready to eat it, otherwise you serve it immediately and remember they're hot so be careful i'll show you my plate see as i said if you like yours well done look at that it's not bloody it cooked and ready to be eaten look at that open thanks for watching give it a likes if you like it subscribe please kindly subscribe